Hey guys, Jen here from Main and Suds and Such and Be Scented. I am so glad to be back. It has been crazy, crazy, crazy at my house um, the last several weeks. Uh, we had a um, a death on, uh, from my sister-in-law. Her grandfather passed away, and I helped her a lot. And then uh, our main water line busted here at my house. <laughs> So it took us uh, several days to get that dug out and, and we replaced our water line and it's just been crazy, crazy busy. So I'm finally back to soaping and I've had lots of requests on what is the heat transfer method. It's really, really simple. I have all of my hard oils here. My liquid oils are in here, okay? Measure out just your hard oils mix up your life solution I just mixed it up maybe two minutes ago it's super hot you just want to make sure all your lies dissolved pour it in here slowly to not splash very slowly going slowly also allows it to some time to melt these big chunks here on top very slowly and where I'm doing several batches of soap I sit this container over in my sink to use for the next batch all right now I'm gonna move this over at my sink now you just hand stir this now this is very hot yes but this liquid back here is going to be enough to bring it down to a much cooler temperature to where you're not going to accelerate and stuff like that unless you're using a fragrance that accelerates so you can see how easily this just starts melting everything doesn't take maybe three or four minutes some people feel like uh, this is a slower process, but for me, it's faster because I prep my hard oils the night before. I don't melt anything, nothing like that. I don't prep any lye, nothing like that. Uh, I just melt or measure out all my hard oils, put the lid on the container, set it off to the side. Um, Sometimes the night before, I'll go ahead and line all of my soap molds, have them all ready, uh, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, so the day of soaping, I have these all ready. I measure out all of my fragrances that I'm going to be doing for that day. If I didn't do my molds the night before, I do my molds. I measure out my first batch of my liquid oils. Uh, I put in my oatmeal, my cannon clay, and my uh, powder cream in here. Because you don't want to put it in here because you can scorch it with the heat of the initial uh, pouring the lye in there. You can scorch it if it's in here. I have done that before. So you don't want to do that. <clears throat> I bring my caddy over that has all of my colorants and everything in there. I have all that ready and as you can see I've been talking for 3 minutes and 52 seconds but the first 30 seconds or so uh, I just you know introduced and told you guys about what I was doing so as you can see it's almost completely melted once you get to this uh, step where it's almost completely melted you can take your spatula out, stick your stick blender in. Ooh, I had a bit of fuzz on there. Don't want none of that in my soap. There we go. Now, I just go up and grab the top of some of the oil that's not melted. You can see a piece of cocoa butter or shea butter right there. <laughs> Just do them like that. As you can see, gets it chunked up enough to where it just melts the rest of the way. So now, 
I like to go in and buzz up my clays and stuff because sometimes they stick to the bottom. This sort of emulsifies them in here to where when I pour them over here, I don't have as much stick blending to do. Now when I do it this way, I do always measure a little bit extra of my liquid oil. Like for this recipe I needed 44 ounces and I, I measured out 44.15. Just to look, because there's no way I can scrape and get every last drop. So that's how I do it. Now this soap is going to be, I'm go I have a custom orders, a lot of custom order to do this today. Everything I'm doing is custom orders, but they're for single loaves. So I thought I would uh, kill two birds with one stone and make double molds and then I have soap for me. I have my apple festival coming up soon so I need to start prepping for that. So I thought I would uh, do double batches and get more so <laughs> Now, I never do much stick blending. You guys know that. See, there we go. And you guys can see how thin that is. Just runs right off my stick blender. Now, we'll add our fragrance. Hmm. I've not made coconut and lime in a while, so this is a good one to make. This is the Dupe of Coconut and Lime Verbena from Bath and Body Works. I think this time I may add a smidgen of brown. I may. I'm not going to stick blend that just because I don't think I have my titanium dioxide ready. I'm going to check. That's one thing I forgot today. I don't. I do. I have some. I have enough. I have enough for this batch. And then I can make more for the next. Okay, cool. Alright. So, let's see. Let me grab my containers. So I think I'm going to do white, big batch white, green, yellow maybe, and a little bit of brown. That sounds good. See the brown will represent the outside of your coconut. The white and the batch will represent the inside. And then the lime, well I think I'll just do green. No yellow. That would be for lemon. I'm probably going to add all of this in here. Now see this is where it helps that I do a water discount because I just probably put about two ounces of more liquid in there and you're more apt to getting glycerin rivers the more liquid you add as in water. The more water you add the more apt you are for the glycerin rivers. Now, let's get our brown. 
I think I'm going to do the dark brown, which is, where is it? Dark chocolate. And green. Mm, I think I'm going to do a mix between green apple and groovy to make it just a little bit brighter. So we're brown. I find that with these bigger batches, it's okay if your soap is a little bit thicker. Um, now with smaller batches, not so much. If your soap thickens up, like this is getting a, a little thick, um, but it's okay in these bigger batches. swirl in the soap. Can you guys see that okay? I'll just drop some of this down in there. I hope all of y'all have been doing wonderful. We've been doing all right. Plop, plop, plop. <laughs> Now, I think I'm going to get a bigger spoon. I have some old spoons over here. Hmm. Hey, this can be something different. I'll use this great big fork. Something different. Kind of drag it through. I don't know what it'll do. Something different. But see, as you can see, in a small soap mold, soap this thick would kind of give you a little bit of issues. But not so much in this big one.
smells really good. Okay, now I have to switch hands. Just for those that are wondering, if you are wondering, when our main water line broke, I am lucky to have a husband that knows how to do all of that stuff. And we dug a 50 foot trench that was about three foot deep. Um, it took us about three days and then me and my husband crawled under our house and we don't have a huge crawl space. We have a good size one. It's about three feet. So it's not like, you know, I was on my belly or anything. I'm able to duck waddle, as I say, under the house. <laughs> Climbed underneath the house and pulled out the old main water line and then put the new one right in it was quite awesome once we got it all dug out and we were ready for the new water line it didn't take us 30 minutes but i must say you truly miss your bed when you don't sleep in it for two days Now the kids had a blast, but mommy and daddy not so much. Kids have played out in the mud and then the dirt and we found the water line that was busted Friday morning. And I called the water company and they said that it had used 14,000 gallons of water. And I was like, holy Toledo. What, Austin? Um, next time we need a, a mold, can, can, can I have them over? Yeah. I'll holler at you, okay? Okay, but can I stay in here? Yeah. All right, guys, let's do some little bit of glitter. What is that called? What's what called? Soap. This is coconut and lime. Back up, you have no shirt on. It smells good. Yes, I know it smells good. All right, guys, I'll bring you back for the cutting. We are back to cut our coconut and lime soap. See how this one turned out. Ooh, pretty. that neat. Wow. Really like that bar. This one? It's really pretty. Ooh, 
isn't that nice? I think the next time I make soap, I'm going to get out my hanger tool. That little fork did pretty neat. Swirls in there. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.